So far, Wo Chen has been my favorite Series 3 Pokemon to use on the rank ladder, and yet it has still been my least used Pokemon on the rank ladder for Series 3. Not least used, I should say least used Legendary. But today we are rocking out with him and Shen Pao on the same team. Let's use it up, try to grab some wins. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I said, Wo Chen, Shen Pao on the same team kind of contradicts itself, but Shen Pao is really used more so as like by himself. He's not here to pair up with anybody. He's here, here to be by himself and get work done all alone. Golden Go is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview. Obviously, a top tier special attacker with that choice specs as its item. Rock and Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, and Trick. Loving this move set for a choice specs Pokemon. We got Don Dozo as our second Pokemon. Don Dozo is holding the Life Orb and it has Oblivious as its ability. It's got Wave Crash, Earthquake, Terror Blast, and Rock Slide. And I'm really liking this move set. Very versatile, very good all around. Bunch of coverage moves, bunch of stab moves. I think it's a solid move for Don Dozo. Wo Chen, gonna be the star of the show for today's video and in our third spot with the Tablets of Ruin as its ability and that Assault Vest to make it more bulkier on the special defense side. It's got Giga Drain, Dark Pulse, Terra Blast, and Ruination. So this one's not here to like Leech Seed set up and all that. It's pretty much here to counter physical attackers and just get after the battle that way. We got Shen Pao in our fourth spot. Like I mentioned already, Shen Pao is kind of here alone. Not a lot of physical attackers on this team, but Shen Pao by itself is phenomenal. It's got Ice Spinner, Sucker Punch, Sacred Sword, and Haze. Rocking the Focus Ash, which is the best item for Shen Pao. We got Arcanine, or as I like to call it, Old Reliable in our fifth slot with Intimidate and Safety Goggles. Flare Blitz, Extreme Speed, will o -Wiz, and Protect. This is really the only Pokemon that can pair up with Shen Pao because it does have E-Speed and also has that Terra Normal type, so... Going to be pretty solid with him. Definitely going to be pretty solid, but he's also really good at dropping a physical attack stat with its ability and throwing out burns on physical attackers. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Don Dozo's best friend. It is going to be Tatsugiri with the Choice Scarf and the Commander ability. Rocket Draco Meteor, Muddy Water, Icy Wind, Dragon Pulse. What more do you want from a Tatsugiri? Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Wo Chen and Shen Pao team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Chiyu team with Torkoal and Chlorophyll Jump Bluff, which will double its speed in that sun. They also have Great Tusk, Delibird, and Fluttermane to pair up with Chiyu. This one looks like it's going to be pretty tough, but I feel like we can get after it and grab some wins. But who should I bring in here? How should I play? I think Shen Pao is going to be great. Wo Chen is eh here, right? I mean, special tactics can really just rip into it, so I don't even think we're going to bring Wo Chen in this battle. We might lead Intimidate Arcanine. I feel like that could be a really good lead from us. Um, I could also lead a Tatsugiri combo if I really want to. I don't think that would be too bad, right? I don't think that would be too bad. We do have Rock Slide, which could be good, especially up against like Jump Bluff and Torkoal. So I could end up leading that. I kind of do want to do that. Do people ever lead Tatsugiri? Not really, right? It's more so just like a swap so we have a chance of miss attacks. So I kind of want to go into Intimidate Arcanine and Don Dozo. Maybe just get off an Intimidate and then swap into Tatsugiri and kind of go from there and then bring Shen Pao in the back end. I really do like that. So, Wo Chen, nothing, not too good here considering he's really there for a physical attackers. But, first, a bunch of special attackers don't really feel like dealing with it. They have an ice type Pokemon with Delibird Bird to take it out. Also, a fairy type Pokemon with Fluttermane to take it out. It's just not worth bringing it. It's pretty much just a waste of a slot for us. But, let's see where opponent ends up leading. And let's get after it. Could be Chiyu, it could be the Torkoal combo, but I feel like we're fine with Don Dozo on both of them. I'm kind of hoping we see some physical attackers. But, again, he doesn't really have any. I'm just intimidated with Arcanine, and I don't mind this. Swapping here and then going into a Rock Slide is not bad. It's not bad. I mean, Jump Bluff probably has Sleep Powder, which kind of sucks. Hmm. But yeah, I'm going to Hard Swap. Right into Tatsugiri. Do I Terrasalize you? What's your Terra type? Fire? No. We're probably just going to stay here and drop a nice little Rock Slide. I mean, EQ's not bad, but Rock Slide, we get a little bit more value out of this. Plus, I like her typing here. Hmm. Yeah, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna go into this. I could actually go fire. Fire wouldn't be bad. The reason fire wouldn't be bad is, is if Jump Bluff is rocking a grass move, we'd be neutral to it, and then we're still neutral to the fire move, but I just, you like wasting a Terra this early on. It's just not worth it. We'll see what our opponent wants to go into. And then in the back end, I can have Shen Pao and Arcanite with normal Terra if we need it. But cool, I'm down for it. I'm down for it. They swap back Arcanine. And we go into Tatsugiri. He's going to hop right into the big fish's mouth. Cool, cool. Commander up. Bang, bang. Just run it through. So let's see what 
he actually ends up doing. Because I'm hoping to just hit this rock slide onto that Torkoal, do some big-time damage. And onto that jump bluff. Like, we can get some big-time damage off and a chance for flinches. But jump bluff probably outspeeds me, right? And a Torkoal does. And we're hoping no Terra comes out here. And he just opts to go for Tailwind, which I think Don Dozo still outspeeds, which is really good for us. No, we do not. And Solar Beam's going to cook up into me. Oh, no. <laughs> this is scary, but we should be able to eat it. It's not stab. It's not stab. And we have that plus two special defense boost. Yeah. It just looked a lot scary because it's Solar Beam. Rock Slide now flies, chipping up some wonderful damage, and we get rid of Jump Bluff. We bring Torkoal down to pretty much 1 HP, and that's pretty solid for us, right? I can get down with that. I can get down with that. But it kind of sucks that knowing that this Torkoal outspeeds me. I don't like that. I don't like that. I do not like that. So Dantos is probably going to go down here, right? I mean, then we have Choice Scarf, Tatsugiri, which can outspeed the Torkoal. But that is rather annoying that this Torque will outspeed by plus two Don Dozo. So annoying. But now I get Solar Beam. He pretty much has a free KO onto me. Thrash Slicing is going to be a waste. Actually, do I Terra here? I might Terra just so I can soak up a shot. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Terrasalize just so I can soak up a shot. And pop a... Uh, do I pop an EQ? We'll do more damage. EQ at Rock Slide. EQ would do more damage. And yeah, I'm going to pop an EQ. I'm going to get off as much damage as I possibly can. That's my plan. I'm gonna waste my terror here. And I think it's all good wasting it here. Because if I can get off one more turn with Don Dozo, that'd be huge. Because I think a solar beam's gonna come out here. And on top of that, I think maybe like a dazzling beam or something like that's gonna come out here. So fire is going to be the perfect terror type. So we can be not very effective both. Being able to eat up a shot and just getting after, after it that way. Because if we can eat up a shot, that's good on its own because we get off some more damage. But another reason why it's good is we're wasting out the tailwind turns. Once the tailwind's gone, we should be thriving. But he ends up terrestrializing who? Watermain's gonna get the terror here into straight fairy. That's fine. That is fine. So he's looking to get off as much damage as he can with the fairy move. We are terrestrializing for that reason. And I believe another solar beam is coming out here. I thought I terrestrialized. Hold up. Hold up. I didn't terror there? Nah, yo. Yo, come on with that. I didn't terror there? Yo. What? Get on out of my face with that. I gotta go back and replay that in my editing software. When I edit this video, I'm gonna see what happened. Probably when I backed out and switched moves or something like that, it just messed everything up. But that is just, oh, dude, that is terrible. That is a terrible scene. That is a terrible scene. Uh, what do we do from here? That's ugly. That's real ugly. We still have Terra. Uh, we could go Terra Ghost, but I don't really like Terra Ghost. Terra Normal. Mm. Hmm. I'm just gonna E speed down the Torkoal. Or I could Flare Blitz the, uh... I could Flare Blitz the Flutter Mane and just uh, deal with the Torque in a little bit. But that's ugly, man. We could have gotten off some nice damage here. Alright, so from here, uh, I guess we'll go for a Draco Meteor. Actually, we can't go into a Draco Meteor. I guess we'll go for an Icy Wind. Slow down everybody a little bit and then just... I'm gonna go for the Flare Blitz into the Flutter Mane slot while the sun's still out and about. So I'll just E-Speed Torque next turn. Move Blast comes out of here. Probably gonna take out my Tatsugiri, right? Yeah, you opt to go for my Tatsu. That's fine. I'll bring out the Fast Boys next turn. And dude, that hurts. That really hurts. Not a fan. Not a fan at all. Earth Power flies. Oh, you're rocking Earth Power. This, this Torkoal's got a great moveset. It honestly does. Flare Blitz flying here. How much damage are we doing this thing? Beautiful. Just what I wanted. Big time damage there. So now we have Shen Pao in the back end with a physical attack with the E-Speed. That works out well. But if I were to Rassalize, we would have won this match. It would have been no problem. We take some recoil damage, and we'll see who his final Pokemon is. We shall see. <laughs> Dude, I'm so upset at that. <laughs> they made the right call and everything. They made the right call and everything. And Tusky's gonna come out here. The Tusky comes out here. Um, they don't have Terra. We do have Terra. Uh, hmm. What's my player? Maybe just Ice Spinner. I might just Ice Spinner you down, right? I feel like I have to Ice Spinner you down and just E-Speed the Torkoal. So we don't take recoil damage. But do I Terrasalize one of them? Probably the Shen Pao, just so we don't take as much damage on on the what's it called moves, right? On the ground move if it does come through. So I'm going to Ice Spinner you. I'm just going to E Speed and finish you off. Even though I think Torkoal's probably going to protect here. And Tusk might be Sash. We'll see. We'll see. I still have a Sash here as well, which is going to be good for us. But this would, this would be the problem. This would, would be where our problem's at. If he protects Torkoal and he EQs and takes out my Arcanine, and he Sash at the same time, it would turn it into a 2v1, which could be a little bit of a problem for us, right? 
It'll be a big time problem for us. Maybe I should just protect the Arcanine that turn and play the slow. That probably would be my better option, right? And no, he doesn't protect. Okay, perfect. So E speed's gonna come out here. It's gonna finish off you. We don't die out to any recoil damage. And then Ice Spinner should bring you down to Sash. You're gonna actually outspeed me, which is wild. Oh, Tailwind's still out and about. But still, we should be fine here. Ice Spinner's gonna bring this thing down low. I can just sucker punch for the rest of the match. It's game set match. Gene's got this one all day. See you later, Tusk. He's not Sash, but he's able to bulk really well. Tailwind finally gone. Um, Do I sucker punch? I think I just stay Ice Spinner. I know I'm faster. I know I'm faster, and he has no first turn priority. Unless he's rocking Ice Shard. But no. See you later, Great Tuss. Match number one goes to your boy after we flub that Terra type on our Dondozo. But it's all good. This is awkward. Am I first with the same opponent? There's no way two people are using this team. This has got to be the same opponent. Let me know in the comment section down below if it is, because I do not remember this person's name. Really, really weird, right? This would be really weird if we're versing the same exact opponent. But same team, same order. Let's grab ourselves another win. Don Dozo is going to be pretty good here again. So I might lead Don Dozo, but if it is the same person, they might change up their lead. They just might change up their lead. But I still feel like Don, I feel as Don Dozo is solid up against a lot of these Pokemon, right? So I'm going to go Don Dozo. Do I go Arcanine again, or do I go with a Pokemon more so like... Shen Pao right off the rip. But I don't think Shen Pao's bad. I really do not think Shen Pao's all that bad. So you know what? I am going to go Shen Pao and Don Dozo. I'm going to bring Arcanine in the back end for sure. I like Arcanine here for E speeds. And then last but not least, do I go in with a Pokemon like Golden Go? Wouldn't be bad. I mean, I could obviously bring Tatsugiri, but we don't need it. We do not need it. I might just go Golden Go here with the choice. I'm your Terra type Golden Go. This little steal. I'm with it. I'm all about it. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. I don't want to use the same team. Obviously, I could lead the same team. But if this is the same opponent, I feel like they just predict that lead. I highly doubt they go into Torkoal and jump off again. And if they do, I mean, it's, it's not that big of a deal. I can still drop Rock Slides. I can still get after it. Sucker Punch works very well. I'm all with it. So let's see. I don't think this is our same opponent. I do not think. It's going to be Fluttermane Chiyu. So Fluttermane Chiyu is going to poke out here. I mean, Sucker Punch could be hot for us. Could work very, very really well. Is that Fluttermane booster energy? That's the real question. It's not. So Shenpowski should be faster than him, right? Let me see your speed real quick. A little quick booger. 205. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You a quick little guy. You a quick little guy. Uh, from here, EQ could be a play. And I might just want to pop it. And then just protect my Shenpow. But I don't have protect, which kind of sucks. <laughs> I just realized I don't have protect. So Rock Slide's going to be a better play. I could just go into a Wave Crash. Which I kind of want to. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Wave Crash, and I'm just going to... I could Terror Ghost, but... Mm, I'm just going to Sucker Punch the Fluttermane now. Fluttermane might Terrasize in the Fairy, but it doesn't. Cool. The Sucker Punch coming out here, ripping up some big-time damage. Heat Wave's going to fly here, bring us down to Sash. That's fine. If Shen Pao goes down, Shen Pao goes down. I feel like we pick up a big, a big turn here. Because if I had to guess, Gleam's coming out here, right? You Gleam it up. No, no way you get the burn on my Don Dozo. Nah, that hurts. That kind of does me wrong. That really does me bad. That really does me bad. And you get a crit. What is going on here? You get a crit on my Don Dozo? Like, what is going on here? Poor Don Dozo. Poor Don Dozo. I'm wave crashing now. Recoil might KO me. But we're able to KO the Chiyu. That's, that's fine. That's cool. That is just ugly, though. That's just terrible. Because now I die to recoil. Oh, my lord. This is just this is just blasphemy right here. It's blasphemy. All right, we're down to two Pokemon already. That's just lo lovely, right? We have Golden Go. We have Flutter, Flutter, Man. I might pass off my choice specs. I might do it. Or I might just Terra Steel and Pop Make It Rains. Really depends who they go into. Don't be Deli Bird. Do I pass off my choice? I wish I could ease speed, but I can't. I simply can't. I mean, I could Terra, which might have to be our play for our Arcanine. But flying is no bueno. Hmm. I still think I don't know if we tear here. Do we really think he goes for a water move? I could just go neutral to everything. Might as well. Actually, I could just protect you. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna protect, and I guess I'll make it rain. I guess I'll make it rain. What could his last Pokemon be? 
got to be Tusk, right? It's got to be Tusk. I'm just going to do a normal Maker Rain. I'm not even going to tear it yet. I'm not going to tear it. He ends up protecting that Pokemon, which is... Uh, I can deal with that. And if Shadow Ball comes out here, that could get ugly. They get real ugly. But we're hoping they go after Arcanine. But I think Shadow Ball is flying. Gleam. Okay, yeah, I can deal with that. I can deal with that. So Gleam comes out here. Doing a little bit of damage. Ah, ch-ch-ch. We're going to go minus one. This is tough. This is going to be a tough one. I can't believe I lost my Dondos on Shen Pao that quick. But I really wish Delibird didn't protect there. But Delibird's always protect. Like, turn one, they're always, they're always with it. They're real snappy with the protects. At least when I use it, too. It's just like, you have to get rid of it. So, like, protecting it's such a good play because most people target it down, like myself. It's a great touch come out here. Final Pokemon, and... What do I do here? What's the Jeans player? What is the Jeans player? I could Terrasalize and just ease speed. Just get rid of our fire typing, which is probably my best bet. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to ease speed. I guess I'll pop and make it rain. My best bet. My best bet here. Because they got speed on me all day. Speed is it's, it's their friend, right? Except for, obviously, with E speeds, but I don't think Golden Go can survive the shot, so wasting a Terra is just a waste of time. If I go into Steel, I'm still still dying to EQs. I'm still dying to that, but he might not even go into an EQ here. He might just go into a Headlong Rush at this point. The E speed's gonna fly here. We don't have our Shen Pao chilling with us, but still solid damage, half HP in it. And Icy Wind's gonna fly here, so he's gonna slow us down. And the real question is, what move are you going for? I don't know what move this Tusk is going for. Probably a Headlong Rush, right? Close combat, wow. Close combat comes out here. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up the match, right? Because we're not KOing this, this Tusk in one shot. We should be able to take out the Deli Bird because we are choice specs. I get that with minus one, but choice specs should be able to bounce that out and at least do half HP this thing. Which it does, and oh my lord, we almost just won that match. If that was our first Baker Rain, we would have taken it out, but I think these Tusks have been sashed. A lot of them have been sashed. That is terrible. EQ is going to fly here. He outspeeds me. It's game, set, match, and we're choosing to make it rain. So we're going to go for it, see what he does. Maybe he makes a mistake. Maybe he's choosing to close combat. You never know. You never know. So we're going to see here. Nope. Headlong rush. There it is. Coming into my golden go, and this match comes down to the wire. Legit about 10 HP. What's the difference here? We're one and one. Let's hop to a third. Let's look for that winning record. Final match coming at you guys, and now we're going up against a few physical attackers. Wo Chan can come out here. He can get some work done in match number three. We're going up against a Gyarados and Ting Lu team, alongside with Palfin, who is a pain in the neck. Deli Deli Bird, and then they got Great Tusk and Amuga. So I might just lead Wo Chan. I don't think Wo Chan's a bad lead. Again, a lot of physical attackers. He can work some wonders here. I like it. Plus, he's super effective on two, five, four of these Pokemon. I thought Gyarados threw me off a little bit, but Giga Drain's going to be super effective on two. The Tusk onto the Delibird, onto the Palafin, onto the Tinglu, which I really, really like. I really, really like. So, Wo Chen, you are definitely coming in here as a lead. I don't lead the Wo Chen. I might also lead it with the Golden Go, right? I mean, Golden Go's not bad. I can get down with it. It's Golden Go, and then we go Shen Pao and even Arcanine in the back end. I like that. I can get down with that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number three. But I was honestly tempted there to just bring Tatsugiri on its own because I don't think it's that bad, right? Choice Scarf as a back-end Pokemon with Drake a Meteor Stab. Come on. That's some big-time damage. That is some big-time damage. But our opponent's going to end up leading Palfin? No. Arcanine. Or not Arcanine. Uh, Gyarados. So, Intimidate's come out here. I'm cool with that. We are special attacking. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. I might just Thunderbolt the Gyarados. Might be my best bet. Might be my best bet. Just a Thunderbolt the Gyarados. I do have Terra Water, which is not bad. But I'm just going to Giga Drain down you. Get off some damage. Get back some HP. And I'm just going to throw a Thunderbolt right into the slot. Hopefully Gyarados isn't Terrasalizing. And it's just going to protect. Tusk is going to protect. That's fine. Go on, go. Can you outspeed the Gary? You can. See you later, Gyarados. You were gone. No shot, you survived that. That's why I love... It was crit. You were dead anyway. It was four times super effective. But, uh, that's why I love this Golden Globe moveset. I really do. I might swap it out here. Maybe get off an Intimidate. Might have to be my play here. Because physical attack is down. So if he throws out a physical attacker, I would love to swap my Golden Go, reset his choice specs, and kind of go from there. I just feel like that's your best bet. 
Oh, let's just see who he ends up going into. It'll be Delibird. I mean, I'm choosing a Thunderbolt. I might as well keep slapping with it, right? I might as well keep slapping up with it. And I could Thrasize you into water. I mean, Ice is going to be super effective, so he's probably using an Ice move regardless, so... It's really not our play. I'm still going to go for the Giga Drain into the slot, and I'm just going to Thunderbolt you. I'm going to Thunderbolt the Delibird slot. I think we're cool with this. He's going to end up protecting Delibird. That's fine. That's fine. What are you going for? EQs? You looking to EQ me down? You go for a close combat. Can you soak that? You can. I love you, Wochan. He's so bulky. Defense is down. Special defense is down. So that's going to make my Giga Drain do a bit more damage here. That's going to be really good for us. So just a tad more damage. Giga Drain coming out here. Just a tad. A lot more. We KO this thing one shot. And we're getting back a ton of HP. Woo! Back to 135? Back into the green? Oh, baby. And now we double down into Delibird, right? Delibird's got to go. I mm, I was going to say, I might hard swap, but no. I think we, if we get rid of Delibird, we pretty much win this match. Yeah, Amoongus. Come on, man. Actually, I uh, might. Huh. What should I do here? I might just Ruination this thing down. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Ruination that thing down. And if I had to guess, the Rage Powder is probably coming out here. I could hard swap into Shen Pao. I mean, it's not bad. It's not terrible. Oh, uh, because then Ice Spinner can KO. We can kind of start getting after the Deli Bird. And we can reset our choice. But we might want to keep it Thunder. But, you know, we're just going to hard swap into Shen Pao. Little bit of Shen Pao action. Because, oh, no, they just canceled the battle. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2-1 for today's video. A beautiful winning record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, another winning record for the Jeans channel. I absolutely love this team. Went 2-1 with it, and our only loss came to about, like, that much HP. Match number two, we lost to that much HP. A little tough, but at the same time, it's the way the cookie crumbles. But this team was amazing. Got Wo Chen out there in match number three, which it absolutely ripped into. And then in the other matches, we had Chen Pao, Golden Goat, Don Tozo, Arcanine, Tatsugiri. Really doing the heavy lifting for us. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.